Hello, I'm Alan Massey. I'm Forspar's Leisure Furl Project Manager, and we're here on Maryland's Eastern Shore in the Hinkley Service Yard at Oxford. Today we're going to show you some tech tips and some quick installation things on how to set up your Leisure Furl after the spring. When putting up the hoisting the main, we just need to hoist the head into the, into the feeder, and then we'll start uh, hitting the electric winch and powering the sail up. While you're initially hoisting the mainsail, this is a good time to check your battens or if you're doing it for the first time, to reinstall the battens. Once the sail is fully hoisted, uh, ease the halyard just a little bit so that you have some slack in the uh, main to work with. We have two canvas loops up here. The first one is to really bring down and attach the tack to the tack pad eye on the mandrel. The second one is here just to adjust the position of the luff tape as it goes into the feeder. The first thing we're going to do is tie down the tack on the first loop, and we want to try to get this uh, a couple good wraps around there, and we want to try to get it uh, so it's just about an inch off of the um, off of the um, off of the tack, and then we'll go ahead and tie this off. And we'll go to the second loop. When we have the tack tied on here properly, we do want to try to keep the bulk down to a minimum. And we want this to so that the sail will actually lay flat on the mandrel as the mandrel turns. Uh, the second one back here is just going to be to adjust the, uh, the luff and the bolt rope so that it'll drop straight down. So this one can either be moved forward and tied to adjust it forward, or if it's already in the right place, we can just wrap it around the mandrel here and uh, keep the extra length out of the way. All right, now that we have the sail tack tied on here, we just want to make sure that we've got this all set up right. And what we're looking for is to make sure that this, this luff uh, bolt rope drops straight down from the, uh, from the luff track. And once that's set, then that's all we have to do. So just make sure that it is dropping straight down, and we'll go back to the aft end of the boat and set up the, uh, set up the uh, clue. Now that we have the tack uh, tied on, we're going to come back here to the aft end of the boom and tie on the clue. It's important that when we do this that we try to get the clue of the sail down to uh, a point off the mandrel the same as the tack. And the best way to do this is tie a bowline into the clue, come back down, wrap the line around the mandrel, come back up and go through the, uh, through the uh, lashing here at the, at the um, clue. Coming back under the mandrel, and back up, we want to go back through this, this uh, lashing the opposite way and then back down and around. Now this allows the clue of the sail when under load to stay straight. If you go back the other way and just keep wrapping through, it'll twist it and we want to try to get away from that. So we want to try to go up through, back around, up through, back around, and uh, then tie it off. The other thing that's important to remember is that this, this handles all the leech loads of the sail. So it's important that it goes around the mandrel and there's enough wraps in here to equal the uh, load that's going to be generated by the main sheet or the halyard. Now that we have the leech line in, uh, established, we're going to work on the outhaul. We want to tie a bowline in, um, in the outhaul line around the pad eye, come through the uh, lashing and the clue. We want to put a couple uh, wraps around here. The most important part of this is we're not trying to over tension this. We just want to get the clue um, about hand tight because we're trying to get this set up as a nice soft, uh, soft footed, uh, nicely cambered downwind sail. We can always come back here and retension this for, for more optimal pos uh, 
positioning, but right now it just needs to be a nice soft, uh, soft footed downwind sail. So don't make this too tight. There's very little maintenance that needs to be done back here. We have a self lubricating bearing in here. So all we need to do is keep it clean. The best way to do this is with fresh water. And so if, uh, if you'll just make sure that this, this spigot here uh, is, is kept clean and rinsed well with fresh water, then the mandrel will slide up and down and turn back and forth and uh, will be in good shape. Uh, the most important thing is just keeping it clean. All right, for those of you that need to take your sails off for winter storage or for sail maintenance or something, we need to make sure that we establish a, a pictorial or factual evidence of what your sail uh, uh, clue positioning is. So it's a good idea to take a tape measure and record the distance between the pad eye and the clue. And then also you want to take a, another measurement too of the distance of the clue off of the, um, off of the mandrel. Now if we can replicate these uh, positions when we reestablish this in the spring, then that'll take a lot of the uh, trouble of uh, trying to set this up initially. So if everything is working in the fall, Make good measurements, make good documentation, reestablish it in the spring, and you'll be set to go sailing.